Hi, I'm Chef Lacey Larson from Portland, Oregon, and today I want to show you how to make my favorite meal prep for a whole week of quick lunches that are healthy and don't take a lot of time at all. So I call these yum bowls. Um, you might have heard them called Buddha bowls, power bowls, but essentially you've got uh, some roasted vegetables, some greens, several different types of protein, and then what I call yum sauce, and I'm gonna show you how to make all that today. So I start with roasting at least two types of vegetables. I like to have one of them be more hearty, uh, like a yam, um, butternut squash would work. You could even do regular potatoes, just something a little starchy that'll stick to the ribs. And then I do a green vegetable, uh, like uh, roasted broccoli, you could do, um, you could even roast cauliflower, it doesn't have to be a green vegetable, but just something that's gonna get some, some good fiber or worked into your lunch. So, if you cut the, the starchy veg pretty small, um, you can see this is just about half inch dice, um, it's gonna roast the same amount of time on one pan as your green vegetable. So what I do is I'm just gonna take all my vegetables and slide them into a bowl. And I'm just gonna use extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper to season these. There's gonna be so many other flavors in the bowl that you don't really need to add much else. If you wanted to, you could throw an onion in to roast with these. Um, so I've got about eighth of a cup of olive oil. You, you want to use enough to really coat the vegetables so that they get nice and crispy. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. That's also going to ensure that the veggies are nice and brown and caramelized. So I just get in and mix it up with my hands. And I've got a foil lined pan right here that I'm just going to put the vegetables on. Make sure they're spread out nice and evenly. You could you could do a couple of sheet pans worth um, if you wanted to do this for, let's say, a couple of you for lunch for the week. So I'm going to start with just one and then put these into the oven. And these are going to roast for about 15 minutes. Just make sure that your, your heartier veg is fork tender before you pull it out. Hi, my name is Shamia Turner. I'm a journey person out of Local 17 in Boston. One of the fun and engaging programs we have for you during this Women in Construction Week is the Smart Women's Trivia Night, which will be on Thursday, March 11th at 8 p.m. to 9.30 Eastern Time. It's really easy to participate. You'll want to visit the link below to sign up for Trivia Night, and then you'll receive some instructions on how to sign up for the event. All you'll need is a laptop and a smartphone, and you'll want to download the Kahoot app onto your smartphone. Then you'll be entered into a Zoom session where you can answer questions and win some really fun prizes. This is a great opportunity to spend some quality and socially distanced time with your sisters from across the US and Canada. Trivia categories will include women in history, women in labor, women in sports, women in Hollywood with some fun surprises along the way. I look forward to joining you on what will be a fun and unique night. Okay, so while the vegetables are cooking, this is a great time to make your sauce. Um, I, to me, the best kind of yum sauce has something creamy, something a little bit zippy. Um, I like to throw some garlic and something acidic. So that could be vinegar, lemon um, my favorite is lemon I always just keep them on hand it's easy to just squeeze half of it in so you want to use um, I like to make you know when I eat one of these bowls I'm I like to put about a half a cup all over the top so I make a fair amount of sauce for the week so I'm gonna start with some 2% Greek yogurt a couple of nice happy tablespoons of that uh, my favorite hot sauce, you could also use barbecue sauce. I'm going to use some smoked Tabasco right now, but you could use, you know, Frank's. Um, you could use uh, any, just really any kind of, if you've got salsa, that's also really great. So some dashes of that, depending on how much heat you like. Squeeze my lemon. I've got just a little bit of minced garlic. Ooh, flying. There we go. And a pinch of salt, just to make sure it's got flavor. And then I just use a fork and mix everything together. Super easy. Um, you could even put some dried herbs in here if you've got like dried parsley, dried dill, 
Fresh green onions are awesome. Do you have any of those around? There we go. So that comes together really nicely. And then at the end, I'm just gonna use this to make up little servings to go with each one of the bowls. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got some of my yum sauce packaged up into little containers to go with my bowls, um, I wanna show you the vegetables came out beautifully. So once those are chilled, you're ready to build your bowls. Um, now, there are all kinds of different proteins that you can use to add to your bowls. Um, I today have chosen sliced turkey. Some just This is just a canned bean combo. It's uh, red bean, black bean, and pinto beans, but you could use tuna, you could use um, any other kind of bean you wanted. You can even use like extra rotisserie chicken that you have laying around. And then for cheese, um, I like to use feta or goat cheese. Uh, blue cheese is great on these, shredded cheddar. You can skip the cheese altogether. You could even use crumbled tofu. Um, but the whole idea is to get a couple of sources of protein so that it helps sustain you throughout your whole work shift. And then as far as the greens go, um, I'm gonna use just like a 50-50 blend of uh, baby lettuces and spinach. You could also just use chopped romaine. You could use arugula. You could even use shredded kale. Now the trick when you're building these to last for the week is to do the greens on top. Um, I know it's a little bit counterintuitive because when you eat a salad, usually you've got the greens on the bottom, but you don't want the greens to get wilted because you want these to last throughout the week. So I'm just gonna build three right now. I've got my containers and I do a handful of these nice roasted vegetables on the bottom. Okay. Then I'm gonna do some of my turkey. And I'll kind of like put the put the ingredients in little different corners. It's okay if they end up getting mixed together, but that's just how I build them. Some of my beans. Another great uh, protein addition, hard-boiled egg. If you're a hard-boiled egg eater, those are nice to just throw a couple of chopped eggs into the mix. My feta, I actually make marinated feta sometimes. Uh, this is just olive oil, lemon pepper, and feta, that's it. I mix it up, let it sit for a day, and it just gives it a little bit of an extra zip. Some of that. All right, these are looking great. Um, sunflower seeds are great in these. Any kind of nuts. Sometimes I'll put like slivered almonds just for some extra protein. And then your greens are gonna go right on top. So I don't pack these completely full because you wanna be able to, when it's lunchtime, be able to stir in that sauce and have plenty of room without making a huge mess. You don't wanna to have to go find a bigger bowl or you know, um, if you need to just sit down right where you are and eat a quick lunch, this is the way to do it. Now these are best if kept refrigerated, but if they have to stay out for a couple of hours, that's also not a problem. Put the lid on. I like these square stackable containers. Um, they're really nice, but you could also, you could build these in like a leftover yogurt container, anything that works. Just, you wanna make sure that you have, you know, enough space to really get a good lunch. So now that you've seen just how easy it is to make up a bunch of yumbles for the week, you're on your way to a week full of healthy lunches.